to a new edition of SmackDown Live in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Four weeks from tonight is WWE Unforgiven SmackDown exclusive pay-per-view. But tonight, here in Oklahoma City, we have a tornado-style Extreme Rules match. Sasha Banks and Miss Money in the Bank looking to end their feud against Alicia Fox and Tamina. Later on tonight, Banks and Moon against Fox and Tamina on SmackDown. Also, we're going to hear from AJ Styles looking to address the WWE Universe regarding his matchup against Kevin Owens inside Hell in a Cell at Unforgiven 4 weeks from tonight. AJ Styles later on tonight, but our main event, Bailey looking to go one-on-one -on -one with the unstoppable force. And Nia Jax, Bailey is the only woman that defeated Jax before. Can she do it again tonight? We'll find out in the main event of SmackDown Live. And what a way to kick it off with a triple threat match. Winner gets an opportunity at the Intercontinental title. Here comes the former Intercontinental World Heavyweight Television and the United States Champion, and Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn looking to get back into a title picture, and tonight looking to get back in the icy title picture. Sami Zayn, last time was Intercontinental Champion, was all the way back in WrestleMania when he took on John Cena and lost the title to Big Max John. And now tonight, after months and months of trying to be in a title picture. He tried in that battle royale last week. Did not work out. And now tonight, given the opportunity by General Manager McFoley, Zane. That's one opportunity. One chance tonight to go to Unforgiven to fight for the Intercontinental Gold. And speaking of gold, the bizarre one, the former Intercontinental Champion in Gold Dust. It's been over two seasons since Goldust has held singles championship gold. I mean, the last time he's held the title was SummerSlam in season one, when he was the Intercontinental Champion, lost that title that very night. Never held singles gold since. Goldust, former uh, tag team champion, the last time he held titles, uh, a title in general, was the World Tag Team Championship with his brother in Stardust back in season two. Goldust, he had a great showing in that battle royale last week on SmackDown Live. But did not get the job done thanks to Dean Ambrose. And speaking of a man that didn't get the job done last week either. A man who's held one title in WWE. Here comes Drew McIntyre. McIntyre did not do well in that battle royale. He was, the, he was in the final two of that match but he did not win it that's what I was trying to say also Drew McIntyre a former WWE television champion well tonight all three men have an opportunity to punch their ticket towards Unforgiven pay-per-view Smackdown exclusive where Kurt Angle will be there waiting for this intercontinental title Angle able to retain the championship back at SummerSlam against Dolph Ziggler. And now they're gonna look for a new opponent. And these are the top three contenders in the mind of General Manager and Mick Foley. And now Drew McIntyre. But prime and ready to go like he always does. Saying the underdog from the underground looks ready to go. The bizarre one is ready to go. All men are ready to go tonight in this triple threat to open SmackDown Live. Battle swung and there we go. And yo, Goldust with a Bulldog on the Zane. And now Drew McIntyre suffers a Bulldog as well. Goldust dropping everybody with a Bulldog in this matchup so far. And now Dust on the second rope. And they're going to oh, dive off with an elbow on the McIntyre. I think McIntyre. Oh, I think he got, I think he got him in the, in the abdomen there. Or in the chest of Drew McIntyre. As uh, Goldust takes down Zayn with a crucifix. And now Ma McIntyre, Irish Swift by Goldust, back elbow. Dust with that back elbow, Goldust. 
Receiving the admiration from the crowd, but Sami Zayn able to catch him with a German off the second rope. Not a good idea for Goldust to taunt and mess with the crowd in the early going of this match. Off the ropes goes Goldust and Zayn with that arm drag. Sami Zayn with that unique arm drag and out with that half Nelson suplex. Half Nelson suplex and now got a power slam. Driver takes down McIntyre. Sami Zayn looking to be the one to face Kurt Angle. He's been in the ring with the Olympic hero before. So he knows what it's, he knows what it's like to be in the ring with Kurt Angle. But a guy like McIntyre or Goldust has not been in the ring with Angle as of late. Oh, Zayn dropping everybody in this match. As Goldust looking to turn things around into his, fa into his favor here tonight. Kick to the gut. Got him here with a DDT. Down goes Zane. And out. Got him with a DDT on the McIntyre as well. Goldust. In control right now. The fans in favor of Goldust. Goldust saving grace. DDT. Takes down McIntyre. Looking to go to unforgiving kick at a toe. Again the crowd is in favor of Goldust. We're going to feed off of it. But Sami Zayn now. We're going to use Goldust's own emotions against him. But Goldust, wait a minute, got him here. Final cut. Final cut. And a kick out by Zayn. Sami Zayn able to kick out. I don't know if that was out of instinct or, or he was well aware that Goldust could have had the, the win there. See McIntyre, no, oh, missed the punch. Trying to go for a DDT. Blocked by Zayn. And now McIntyre. Side leg sweep takedown on the gold dust. Got him up. Drew McIntyre. Trying to go for a fireman's carry maneuver. But Zayn turning around into an inverted DDT. Inverted DDT for the W. For Sami Zayn. Able to kick out the McIntyre. What a triple threat match to begin SmackDown. A fresh new edition of SmackDown. A little bit of rebranding. After SummerSlam, new look, so to speak, as Zayn trying to go for another pin, but Goldust was well aware of that one. And now Goldust got whipped to the corner by Zayn. This is not good if you're Goldust. And Zayn has something in mind, taking Goldust on the outside. A familiar sight if you're a long-time viewer. Sami Zayn diving through. Turn it on DDT. Sami Zayn on the roll. He thought about going after McIntyre, but decided to go after Goldust instead, since he did suffer that DDT on the thin padding on the outside. Try to go for a DDT. Got him here. Yes! Got him on the DDT. Seen. Kick out of two. To, uh, one, rather. By McIntyre. Missed the kick. McIntyre dodged that kick. Got him up. Electric chair. The best thing about a triple threat is that it's non-stop action sometimes. And there we go. Cover by McIntyre to capitalize off of the DDT by Zayn early in the match. But I'm sure Goldust had enough time to rest and, a bit, and heal up a bit to kick out if anyone tried to pin him. Yeah, let's look at McIntyre. Look at, look at the strength of McIntyre. Go in suplex deadlift, I might add. Goes into the cover, hooks the outside leg to go to Unforgiven, but no, Goldust says not today. And now look at Dane, got his hands on McIntyre, and able to take him down. Trying to go for a drop kick, missed it. McIntyre dodged the drop kick, but Dane caught him with a fireman's carry. Zane got him up to his feet. McIntyre in trouble, Blue Thunder! Blue Thunder Bomb! Zane, is he going to Unforgiven? Sammy Zane wins! Zane with the Blue Thunder Bomb, able to punch his ticket towards Unforgiven. As we get the replay, you see Goldust almost had McIntyre with that Sammy Grace DDT as McIntyre led him on the match, showing his strength all over the place. But in the end, the Blue Thunder Bomb able to get the dub for Sami Zayn tonight here in Oklahoma.
Sami Zayn and his legions of fans on their feet for the underdog from the underground. Zayn going to Unforgiven. WWE Unforgiven returns live on pay-per-view exclusive to SmackDown Live brand as we're going to have AJ Styles main event the show with Kevin Owens for the WWE Championship. They're going to end their rivalry inside Hell in the Cell. Don't miss Unforgiven. As they're back live on SmackDown here in Oklahoma City. Getting ready for this Tornado Extreme Rules match. Between Alicia Fox and Tamina teaming up against Miss Money in the Bank, Ember Moon, and Sasha Banks. They're going to squash their feud tonight here in Oklahoma. As a way for the arrival of the Shinam and the first ever Miss Money in the Bank. Here comes Ember Moon. Looking to eclipse the entire roster of SmackDown Live's women's division. Ember Moon looking to light up tonight in Oklahoma City. Look up Tamina and Alicia Fox. I will not take Ember Moon lightly. Only been on the main roster. Only been on SmackDown Live for a couple of months. But still, she may be new around here, but you gotta take it, take her lightly. You gotta, you can't take her lightly, rather. You gotta take her seriously. That's what I'm trying to say. And Sasha Banks walking down the aisle. I, I believe it was, it was Ember Moon debut against Alicia Fox on SmackDown Live at one point. If I'm wrong on that one, also. I remember on SmackDown as well, Sasha Banks had a match with Alicia Fox. Alicia Fox, this all started because Alicia Fox took it upon herself to stomp away and attack Sasha Banks for no reason. And then Sasha Banks and Alicia Fox had an Extreme Rules match, I believe last week on SmackDown, if not two weeks ago, and then Tamina got involved. So now tonight, they're looking to have this matchup here in Oklahoma, in a tornado style, with Ember Moon involved as well. Bill Strong and Alicia Fox decided not to get involved or looking to do something else as Sasha Banks going to work on Tamina, who she's been having a problem with ever since coming over to the to the blue brand. And oh god, you saw on the outside there, Alicia Fox with that ladder attacking Ember Moon. I mean, this all started all the way back around the time of No Mercy. Or around the or early, earlier than that. Tamina showed up on SmackDown Live. As, oh, Banks with that first press. Tamina showed up on SmackDown attacking Banks. And then they had a match at No Mercy. Which uh, Sasha Banks ended up winning in a great match on the pay-per-view. Fox got first onto that barricade. And oh, ram into the steel steps. And now Tiamina looking to go for a weapon on the outside. I mean, it, it, oh, able to kick the weapon out of her hand there. Did Banks. And now Sasha got Tiamina on the top rope. Oh, no, swinging neckbreaker. In the cover, swinging neckbreaker for the win. But Tiamina able to stay alive. I believe that was the first cover of the matchup. As uh, Fox and... And uh, Ember Moon on the outside, now both women inside the ring. As a wait a minute. Fox able to counter and turn it around. And now dropping the leg. With that leg drop. Big shot to the gut there by Tamina. Tamina with a DDT. And a back suplex. Oh! By Alicia Fox on the Ember Moon. This is not good. As Tamina got her up. Don't Banks counter in for the DDT. And now it's kind of like a 2 on 1 because Ember Moon's on the outside. But Sasha Banks handling Alicia Fox on her own. And now Ember, Mo Ember Moon has something in mind. Just looking to attack and assault on Tamina. Oof. As Ember Moon got her hands on Fox, whipping her. 
Off the ropes. Drop kick. Missed. Fox able to block the kick, but Banks and Ember now. They're going to double team Alicia Fox with a payback, if you will. And now, oh, look at this. Trying to go for Olympic slam, perhaps. But Ember and able to counter. Ember swinging side slam. Able to counter. Tamina trying to intimidate Sasha Banks, but realized Ember moving for a pin and able to stop her there. Oh, shot to the gut there. I got all over the place. All over the place. It's hard for one person to call this match, to be honest. But I managed to pull through every time. Look at Tamina. Look at Tamina now. With that kendo stick. Trying to go after Ember Moon. But Sasha Banks prevented that from happening. Whipping her into the corner. Ember Moon down. Cartwheel close line in the corner. And now Sasha Banks. This is an extreme rules match. Rope breaks are not. Are not. Going to matter in this match. Big statement. And she taps. As Ember. Full away slam. Banks and Moon. Able to. Stand tall tonight in this trail style tag team match. Oh man, all over the place again, I tell you. Swinging neck breaker, cross arm neck breaker, the court will close on in the corner, and then the bank statement by Sasha Banks for the win in this matchup. Tamina has been in the hold many, many times and has tapped out to the hold many, many times. And once again, it happens tonight in Oklahoma. Amber Moon, Miss Money in the Bank, and the boss Sasha Banks standing tall tonight in this women's tag team tornado style Extreme Rules match. As we're back here on SmackDown, as we have uh, Jason Jordan uh, making his way towards the ring. I mean, he's not really scheduled to be out here. He has a microphone in hand. I don't know what he has to say, but uh, in my notes, uh, we're supposed to have the tag team match next. But, well, I guess Jason Jordan is going to take up some of this time here on SmackDown to uh, say a few words to the WWE Universe. So let's see, I finally demolish my former friend, my former acquaintance in Chad Gable and I heard that he's off of Smackdown Live, good freaking riddance. Now I can finally move forward with my singles career. I did say at one point that I am a top star here on Smackdown Live, that I am the future of WWE and trust me I am and I'm gonna prove it to you here on the blue brand I do plan on going after championship gold I do plan on calling out people calling out big names and now now that I can finally focus on my singles career I have one person in mind there's one person I want to get in the ring with and I'm going to talk to Mick Foley about that. Because I don't think any of you people in this city that has to rename itself just for name recognition is it's just mind-boggling to me here in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. So I'm going to discuss with Mick Foley on who I want to face here on SmackDown Live in the next couple of weeks. Because I don't think I'm still 100% from demolishing my former partner in Chad Gable in that Extreme Rules match where he chucked me off of that that trailer a couple of weeks ago. Able, and I'm gonna show the world that I am willing. Jason Jordan taking the time to show the world, to tell the world that he's gonna be the one that he's going to be the future of WWE. And he has someone in mind to, to, to challenge, to go up against. We're going to find out in the next couple of weeks. But ladies and gentlemen, coming up later on tonight, AJ Styles looking to address the WWE Universe regarding Unforgiven and his matchup against Kevin Owens for the WWE title inside Hell in the Cell. Later on tonight on SmackDown. As you have the hype rolls already in the ring, getting ready for this tag team match. 
for the rematch from last week on SmackDown when the New Day went up against the Hype Bros for the Tag Team Championships. And now tonight, the New Day, they're going to go up against the former champions. I think Jason Jordan got a little flustered uh, from the crowd earlier when uh, the crowd was getting on him about, well, the fact that he kept saying that he demolished Chad Gable. I mean, Chad Gable did chuck him off of that trailer on SmackDown Live last week. In that Extreme Rules match. I mean, that was, that was the same match. I apologize for everyone that was frightened and that was scared, but those two were willing to do that to each other just to air out all of their their envy towards another. As this matchup is underway, knee left there by Kingston on the Mojo Rollins. As uh, the, the Hype Bros had an open challenge at SummerSlam kickoff show and it, it ended up backfiring on them when they went up against the team of Aiden English and Rusev, Rusev Day. And Rusev Day able to come out on top with the dub, with the win and able to walk out with the championships. That's kicked in on the second row, but a Herbert can run. I, I actually want to know who's going to be the one to face Jason Jordan on SmackDown. Jordan said he's not clear to go yet because he's still hurt from that Extreme Rules match last week. So maybe. I mean, who do you guys think should face Jason Jordan on SmackDown Live? I mean, we got guys like John Cena, Randy Orton, Braun Strowman, you know. We haven't seen Triple H on SmackDown Live yet because he, he was drafted. From under that Raw to SmackDown Live back in the draft earlier this year. So we, we, we don't know. We don't know who's going to be the one to face uh, Jason Jordan. Jason Jordan says the future of WWE. We're going to find out uh, if you'll be able to uh, make it as a, as a single superstar. I mean, uh, as uh, an oh, oh, jeez. Mojo Rawling. Hand on the throat, chucking kicks it across the ring. Now it makes a tag. Here comes Zack Ryder. But now kicks to Gadamir. Got him up. Got him up. Ooh, wow. Vertical suplex. Got him here. Ooh, wow. Vicious neckbreaker. I mean, good grief. By Zack Ryder. And now Ryder now. Fireman's carry stun gun. Throw first onto the top rope. Makes the tag. Here comes Xavier Woods, the man with the PhD. And, oh! Dropping right over that DDT. Got him a fireman's carry, but no rider able to turn it around. New Day, they're going to get some payback in this tag team match from last week. And I'm sure the hype bros are not 100% are not focused, especially at the fact that they lost their tag titles in that open challenge. So this could pay dividends for the new day. Sit out jawbreaker by Woods. Ryder trying to crawl away, but Walter Raleigh on the opposite side. Or on the, uh, yeah, on the opposite side of the corner. Xavier Woods looking down on Ryder. Woods may feel that he has Ryder right where you want him. I'm waiting for him to get up to his feet. Takes it a good block. It's a curry. Caught him though. Able to stop Ryder from going towards Mojo Rawley. Almost made the tag there. But the referee said Mojo had to go back all the way to the corner. On a roll by Xavier Woods. Woods with the on a roll on the Zack Ryder. Got him in the corner. Uh oh. New Day looking to turn up. The New Day looking to turn up here in Oklahoma with the crowd chanting for the New Day. Stop after stop, tag after tag, repeat after repeat. By both Woods and Kingston with no biggie at ringside. Drop kick. And now Ryder trying to crawl but Kingston right there. In the cover, hooks the outside leg. Got him down, two count. Ryder able to kick out. Molto trying to get involved, but Woods able to stop him, but Ryder able to kick out and survive anyway. And Zack Ryder, Long Island IC, 
Trying to get back in this match is Kingston now. I mean, Kofi Kingston, former single star as well. I mean, Kofi Kingston, former Intercontinental Champion of Universe Mode. Last time was Intercontinental Champion was all the way back in payback of season two when he lost it to Kevin Owens in that fatal forward match. As wait a minute, Hype Bros, Hype Bros, Hype Rider. Hot right in there by Mojo Raleigh on the Kingston. Hooks the line, but Xavier Woods very quickly able to come through and make the save. But oh. it's Kingston now. Able to take down Mojo. Got him up to his feet. To a vertical base. Vicious elbow shot. Baby right. Kingston now with the shot. Back suplex spiking him on the back of his neck. <laughs> of his neck and now Kingston Kofi Chance here in Oklahoma the crowd behind Kingston at the moment New Day boom drop by Kingston could we see trouble in paradise or wait 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 I was flipping Mojo to the corner they're gonna play the role of Big E here got him midnight hour the midnight hour hooks the outside leg to oh, almost had him. But Ryder made the save. Kicks the jumper to the Ryder. Set on by Woods. That slingshot set on by Woods. Whipping him off the ropes. Close on by Raleigh. Oh, what a tag team match. It's back and forth action. And now Raleigh got him up. We're going to channel Braun Strowman here. Running power slam. Dropping Xavier Woods. Or if you want to refer to uh, the British Bulldog. Then that too. That, that is what. That's Ultra Raleigh. The double hammer fist to the side of the head. And now oh, blocked the shot by Woods. Woods got him up. Fireman's carry. TKO! Fireman's carry, cutter, takedown by Woods. And now Woods looking to make Mojo Raleigh an honor roll student here tonight. No, blocked it. Blocked it. Able to block it into a back suplex. Raleigh has something in mind now. This is not good if you're Xavier Woods. Up to his feet, not going to like the view. Got him up. Fireman's carry, flex him. Landon Hampton, Mojo, in and a cover, hooks the outside leg, got him too, and a kick out by Woods, Ryder didn't stop Kingston, but Xavier Woods able to kick out, able to scoop up Kingston and planting him down. Oh God, a, a, a spinning leg drop there by Mojo, and now Mojo now, got him up. Running power slam on the Kingston. But Woods caught him here. Woods now. Oh! Woods able to take him down. Got him up. Got, got on the second rope. Woods. Oh, he thought about it. And now, oh, Mojo! Realizing, making the tag a rider. And he does. Flying far. And another one. And another one. And a take down on the Kingston as well. Zack Ryder. He sees the opportunity. Looking to go for it. Ryder up top. El Bro drop. The El Bro drop. Cover. Hooks the leg. Ryder got the win. The El Bro drop for the win. The Hype Bros once again. Getting the win over the New Day. Oh man. Our bros seem to, seem to have their focus. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Rusev, it in English. You got Rusev Day, the current tag team champions. Showing their respect towards Hype Bros, I guess. you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and the notification bell where you'll never miss any videos from this channel.
And we're back here on SmackDown Live in Oklahoma City. As we wait for the arrival of the phenomenal, the number one contender in AJ Styles. Here comes a man who will be facing Kevin Owens. It is official that at Unforgiven, inside Hell in a Cell, they're looking to end their feud once and for all to prove who is the absolute best here on SmackDown Live. Kevin Owens and AJ Styles will go at it once again, but it's time for the WWE Championship. Not once have AJ Styles ever main evented a pay-per-view in a one-on-one -on -one capacity with the WWE title on the line in Universe Mode history. And now, four weeks from tonight, AJ Styles get that opportunity. Able to earn it back by defeating Kevin Owens with the help of Sting, I might add, on SmackDown Live. Didn't mean to add the asterisks, but it's just fact. But out tonight, AJ Styles looking to address the WWE Universe regarding Unforgiven. The phenomenal one, confident as ever, here tonight and every night. So let's look at the facts. Kevin Owens can't beat me. Now, maybe a little bit of truth that I may have lost to Kevin Owens here and there. But let's face facts. I'm on, I'm on the biggest streak in my career. I've beaten everyone. Hold on a second. If you're going to mention Kevin Owens, I guess KO wants you to a trust to his face. Kevin Owens, the WWE Champion, making his appearance here in OKC. KO making his way down the aisle. AJ Styles not too fond of, of Kevin Owens interrupting the challenger for the WWE title, but KO. I mean, what was the last time he cared about anyone's opinion, regardless? Here comes Kevin Owens. Able, went to, able to go through SummerSlam and defeat Sting. Powerbomb on the apron, then pop up Powerbomb for the win at SummerSlam. And now Kevin Owens looking to confront AJ Styles tonight on SmackDown. Now AJ, if you're going to address me, then you might as well do it to my face. If you're going to mention my name out of your mouth, you might as well do it in front of my face. Yeah, that's right. I've beaten you before and you've beaten me. But I'm unforgiven. Everything will prove. Everything will be laid out. AJ Styles versus Kevin Owens for the WWE Championship inside Hell in the Cell. Yeah, you're right. Everything will be laid out. You will be laid out. You will be done. Your title reign will come to an end at Unforgiven. No more Kevin Owens on SmackDown. No more Kevin Owens. How about no more AJ Styles? How about no more whining, whining, complaining? No more bitching and moaning about how you've beaten this guy and beaten this guy, but yet have yet to receive a WWE title match. I don't know why it took you so long to get a title match, AJ. Maybe it's because you're not as phenomenal as you think that you are. Maybe you're just not good enough. No, 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 no. What you don't understand, KO, what you don't understand, Owens, is that I am the face that runs this place. I am the phenomenal AJ Styles. This is the house that AJ Styles has freaking built brick by brick every single night. No, 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 no. This is, this, this is not the house that AJ Styles built. No, this is the house that the prize fighter built. This is the house that Kevin Owens built. When I'm going around taking WWE championships from other superstars, you have been doing absolutely nothing. So as far as I'm concerned, this is my show. Well, you can say it's your show. You can say this is your time. But just like good things, your time is about to run out.
everything must come to an end and unforgiven. And I will promise you, you're not going to walk out of Hell in the Cell. And I'm going to walk out with the WWE Championship. Well, we have four weeks. Four long weeks until you can prove to me that you're worthy of stepping in the foot. Stepping in the ring with me. You can't even lace up my damn boots. Let alone compete for the WWE Championship. Last time I fought for you for a title, I've beaten you so quick at Money in the Bank last year. And I'm sure it's going to happen again at Unforgiven. Well, you may think so. You may think so. These idiots of the crowd may think so. But no. No, that's not what's going to go down. You're going to suffer a Styles Clash. You're going to suffer a 450. You're going to suffer a Spiral Tap. You're going to suffer a Phenomenal Forearm and a 1-2-3. And when I'm done with you, when I beat you in this ring, Kevin Owens... The KO show will be cancelled. This will be known as the house that E.G. Styles built. I am the phenomenal one. And then everyone world freaking wide will realize that I am the WWE Champion. AJ Styles and Kevin Owens heated confrontation. Here on SmackDown Live, Styles are going to prove the world that he is WWE Championship material. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, our main event, Bailey, the SmackDown Live Women's Champion. They're going to go one-on-one -on -one with the unstoppable force in Nia Jax. Can Bailey survive this one again? We'll find out live next in OKC. Live next week in Albuquerque, New Mexico, AJ Styles will go one-on-one -on -one with the number one contender for the Intercontinental title in Sami Zayn in the main event of next week's SmackDown Live in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Also, that night, we're going to have Rusev Day in an English and Rusev, the new tag team champions, will be in action next week on the blue brand. Don't miss out. SmackDown Live next week. But we're live in OKC, and it's time for our main event of the evening. She survived her once. Can the new SmackDown Live Women's Champion, Bailey, survive Nia Jax again? Here comes the Huggable One. As Bailey and her Bailey buddies live. On SmackDown, Bailey able to do the unthinkable. Naomi, in my opinion, was the most dominant women's champion we've ever had in Universe Mode. Nobody has ever held the title so long like Naomi. Nobody in SmackDown Live history. And Bailey, even though she failed last year on the Raw brand, comes to the blue brand and was able to achieve her dream by becoming SmackDown Women's Champion. And now tonight, Bailey, her celebration might be cut in half as she goes one-on-one -on -one with Nia Jax. And here we go. Here comes the unstoppable force in Nia Jax. Uh, what the hell? What the hell? Nia Jax is lifeless on the stick. Naomi! What the hell? Naomi making her way towards the ring. And, now, and I'm getting worried that Naomi is going to replace Nia Jax right now. Oh my god. Here we go. Well, the bell is rung. Naomi, they're going to replace Nia Jax Frankensteiner. I mean, the title is not on the line, but Naomi, I guess, wants vengeance upon Bailey. After Bailey able to obtain the title at SummerSlam this past Sunday. Fence pressed there by Naomi. As Naomi now out for blood against Bailey. And oh, trying to strike her down. Bailey getting back in the match. And now Bailey now. Oh no 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 got caught. Oh, Planter face first. Naomi. 
looking to make Bailey pay after ending that long tunnel reign from Elimination Chamber all the way to SummerSlam as oh wow Naomi I don't know what happened with Nia Jax I don't I don't want to accuse Naomi of being behind it but for God's sakes Nia Jax looked lifeless when Naomi dropped her on the stage showing that Nia Jax is not capable of facing Bailey. as now oh Bailey now DDT women's champ fighting back Bailey going up top look at the repeat SummerSlam off the top oh set top there by Bailey huge risk big reward for the champ and I got her here what a snap suplex as well women's champion trying to regain control but Naomi Look at oh my god, look at her unleash her fury upon the new champ. And now look at this, Naomi, split leg, Moonsault. Split leg and Moonsault by Naomi, hooks the outside leg, kick out of toe. I mean, you saw something similar with Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins. Raw supposed to face Tyler Breeze. Roman took care of Tyler Breeze. And now Naomi in the same position. Got Bailey in the, in the glow submission. But Bailey fighting through. Knee lifts to the side of the face. And now Bailey now. Oh, what a bulldog. And in a cover. Hooks the outside leg. Got her down. But able to kick out at one. Did Naomi. Back and forth between the two. It's like I'm reliving SummerSlam, but on SmackDown Live. And now Bailey got her in the corner. The crowd wants some Bailey. Bailey looking to give it to them. Now it's Bailey got her here with a Bailey Plex in the corner. Bailey Plex in the corner. Bailey sees it. She sees the opportunity. Naomi in the drop zone. Bailey up top. Macho Man elbow. Bailey with the elbow drop from the top in the cover. Hooks the outside leg. Got her down. No, oh, the shoulder up by Naomi. Just when you think Naomi was down and out, she keeps getting back up. That's what made her a champion for so long. Just when you think someone has Naomi down, nope. Into the cover by Naomi. Form in the face. Be able to kick out. As Naomi lit up. And oh! Big shot to the spine. And a shot to the back there with the knee. As now Bailey being whipped into the corner by Naomi. Naomi now has Bailey in his. Situation in a position she does not want to be in. Could that be it? No, wait. It's Billy. Deep arm drag. DDT blocked. Naomi, review. That's what defeated Paige back at Money in the Bank. Would that be enough? Hooks the upside leg. Pin the champ. Got her. Oh my god, so close. Again. Naomi is out for blood, but then again, the heart, the will to win, the desire to, to stand up and fight in Bailey is incredible. Surfboard stretch by Naomi. Bailey up to her feet, to a vertical base now. Big right. Got Naomi back, suplex. Bailey now. Naomi whipped into the corner. Bailey sees that she has Naomi right where she wants her. Got it here. Bailey plucks again. Will that be enough? Will the Bailey plucks get the job done? Hooks the leg. Able to kick at a toe. Did 
Naomi, we're gonna make everyone feel the glow here tonight. Bailey up top. Bailey up top. They're gonna go for it again. Elbow! Elbow drop! In the middle of the ring, she got it this time! Hooks the leg! Got her down! Oh my god, I get it in her kick out! Another kick out by Naomi! Snapmare take down by Bailey. The fact is, Bailey knows that Naomi's tough to beat. She tried to put her down, not good enough. But Bailey stays on attacking her. Instead of getting frustrated or lose focus, she stays on Naomi. Do what she can to damage Naomi as much as possible. Neck breaker by Bailey. Both women are down. My God, what a matchup. This is our main event on SmackDown Live. Rematch from SummerSlam. Na and Bailey goes for a cover. Wasted a lot of time though, and able to kick out. Because both women landed hard after that neck breaker. And Bailey went for a cover. And I'm sure Naomi had enough time to rest up to kick out. And now Bailey got her in the corner. Bailey plucks for a third time. Will that be enough? She pinned her after the second time she did that move, and, and, and Naomi able to kick out. What could Bailey do to put down Naomi and vice versa? Takes it up by Naomi. Got her in the corner. Split leg moonsault coming again. Naomi, we're gonna put Bailey away. Again, vengeance for Naomi. Will that be enough? Moonsault, oh, the kick out again. Uh oh, Bailey's gonna feel the glow. Looking to feel the glow again here tonight. Naomi looking to make Bailey tap out or pass out if possible. Naomi with the glow submission hold. Bailey looking to try to fight out of it and she does again. Neelif, Neelif, Neelif. Neelif with the Neelif. Got her. Vertical suplex. Bailey. Loves the energy from the crowd, feeding off of it. And now Bailey sees she knows what she has to do. Better the belly. Shades of SummerSlam. Hooks the leg. Bailey stands tall. Even though Naomi was out for blood, Bailey able to overcome the unpredictable former champion. Look at Naomi trying to sneak attack. Stick attack, but Bailey fighting through, fighting back, knocking down to the outside. We're out of time. Good night from OKC. Bailey stands tall.